So 1060s are now useless for mining, apparently. Um, not all 1060s. It's going to be 1063 gigs that are going to be affected by this. Uh, and this is coming out of a source from WCCF Tech. They found out that combining the DAG file with one of the new Windows 10 updates actually pushes the VRAM to over 3 gigabytes, which means that the 1063 gig is no longer going to be able to mine Ethereum whatsoever. This is one of the things that we were worried about when it came to uh, ARCs 480s and 580s and why everybody recommended that you pick up an 8 gig over a 4 gig. This is because we expected the DAG file to go up over four gigabytes at some point, and now we're starting to see one of the mainstream cards that people bought for mining Ethereum, the 1063 gig, it's now going to be obsolete on certain versions of Windows. The mainstream version of Windows 10 is no longer gonna be able to support mining Ethereum on a 1063 gig. However, all hope isn't lost. Obviously, there are other options for mining like Linux, um, or even lighter versions of Windows 10 that you can use. So yeah, there are, there are versions of Linux that you can use like SMOS or FOS for mining with your 1063 gigs still because the DAG file itself isn't over 3 gigabytes of VRAM. It's around, you know, 2.5, 2.4, but apparently the Windows 10 OS is taking up over 600 megabytes of VRAM on 1060s, which pushes these cards over, but as the DAG file continues to increase, which it does, uh, very regularly with Ethereum. This is one of the ways that Ethereum actually stays ASIC resistant is the fact that DAG files regularly update and keep it so that ASICs can't come in and start mining because ASICs are only good at one algorithm. And if the algorithm is changing on a regular basis, ASICs can't come in and just mine one thing. They have to change it on a regular basis, which ASICs can't do. That's the whole point behind them. But uh, obviously this is bad news. Uh, 1063 gigs can no longer mine Ethereum if you're running Windows 10, which means you're going to have to change your, your setup if that that's the way you're doing things right now. It's a bummer for people who bought 1063 gigs for mining, for Ethereum at least, especially since Ethereum is one of the most profitable currencies to mine right now on a 1060. It can be a huge, you know, shot in the foot, but you still have Zcash, you still have Zcash Classic, you have all of these other algorithms uh, based off the Equihash algorithm, which isn't going to be affected by this uh, update to Windows at all. But this is something that most people actually aren't even talking about when it comes to the RX 570 and 580 4 gigs, is the fact that the DAG file might not even have to be at 4 gigabytes before they start being affected. They could be at 3.5, and, and then the Windows 10 update, which for all people who say, oh, you should be on Linux for mining, there's still some things that you can do on Windows that you're not able to do on an SMOS. Because with Polaris cards, you can only undervolt them if you're on Windows. There's no way to do it on Linux currently unless you're a super guru with hacking the kernel. And for a lot of systems, not being able to undervolt on Polaris is a big deal because then they'd have to buy bigger power supplies. They'd have to do things a whole lot differently. And so being on Windows is a, is a key advantage for a few people when it comes to uh, actually mining with Polaris cards right now. But obviously there should still be the options of switching to Windows 8, Windows 7, anything that might be a lighter operating system, especially with how how bad Windows 10 has gotten recently, especially with like the upgrade assistant and all of that crap where it keeps on popping up. It's so frustrating. Um, but being on an older version of Windows should allow you to actually you would, you would still have the benefits of undervolting with MSI Afterburner or other, then you keep still being able to use your 1063 gig or your RX 574 gig. This is one of the warnings that everybody has known about when it comes to mining Ethereum, is the fact that the DAG file eventually goes obsolete, which is why you can't use two gigabyte cards when it comes to mining Ethereum right now. Because the DAG file actually surpassed two gigabytes and made it so that those cards, the RX 552 gigs, you can no longer mine Ethereum with them. You have to choose something else like Monero or um, what's that other? Like Monero or Electronium. But then there's also the argument that none of this is going to matter by the time it hits four gigabytes on the DAG file because it's going to go proof of work instead of proof of stake, or proof of stake instead of proof of work, and that just creates an entire other issue that I don't know if anybody really wants to talk about. Anyways, I just wanted to make this update video for everybody who might be having a 1063 gig, who might be trying to mine Ethereum. Uh, Windows might kick you out of the ability to even do that uh, with their latest update. It, it's gonna be a tough time. You might wanna roll back an update or you might wanna switch over to a different operating system. It will allow you to continue to mine. Let this car go by. Back in America, big trucks everywhere. That's the way we do things here. But yeah, if you're not on Windows 10, if you're still on Linux, or if you're on a different version of Windows, you're likely not affected by it. 
right now, but the Ethereum DAG file will be coming for you. It will get to the point where it's over three gigabytes, likely before it goes proof of stake instead of proof of work. And that's when you're gonna start running into issues. But just keep this in mind for anybody who has a 1063 gig mining setup, or if you're planning on buying a 1063 gig for mining Ethereum specifically right now, other Ethereum based algorithms might not be affected by this. You might still be able to get by with mining the likes of Pearl or whatever. Uh, it's still possible to do that. This is an update that's just specific to Ethereum and that might cause a few issues for some people. Anyways, this is the first video uh, that I'm doing since I've been back in America since leaving South Africa. Let me know if you like this sort of walking, talking style. Uh, obviously, there's a few issues to figure out when it comes to the setup I have everything on and with focus and all of that because doing everything by myself while being out and about is a little tricky. So I'm trying to figure it out. If you guys can bear with me, let me let me know of any improvements I can be making. I'm definitely gonna I'm definitely gonna be reviewing the footage to see if there's anything else that I can do. So be sure to uh, sure to let me know and down in the comments or over on Twitter. I'm at UF Disciple. Anyways, be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed this little quick update video. Get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. This has been a walking vlog update. This is a little weird. Anyways, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. It's one of the ways that Ethereum actually stays. Oh, geez. Hey, now. If the algorithm is changing on a regular basis, why are you shaking? Stop shaking. It's a bummer for people who bought 1060. Why are you shaking? Stop shaking. Let's turn around. One more time. Hey, hey, no, you get your butt back here. I'm so out of breath. <sighs> okay. Anyways, um, anyway, so this is the first video update that I have since I left South Africa and I'm coming back to America. Holy crap, those brakes. Oh, this is a first time try for this. <coughs> Jeez, what are you doing? What are you doing, camera? What are you doing? Go up, there we go, okay. Oh, did I press that button? Okay. It's not what I wanted.